why would God create Satan if Satan, if God knew Satan, would do what he did? What caused what caused Satan to do what he did in the garden or do what he did before the creation, after God had created him? If God knew that he was going to rebel, what caused Satan to do that? Okay, so do you believe then this is where the similarities come from because of that particular event or, or, for, or for some other reason? I think it's a multiple step question and a multiple step answer. Mm -hmm. um, I do believe that Satan has a power over the world, which the Quran and Bible both confirm. Okay, so then let us address that. So, and I'll, I'll let Brother Mansoor and Brother Haja come into here because they're, they're actually more informed on this than I am. But there's a particular set of presuppositions that we need to address here. So one is um, the Islamic position isn't that Satan has power over the world. This is not one of the things we believe. Nor do we believe that um, God's knowledge is faulty, right? Because this is what you what, this is what you mean by when you say, "Did God know Satan was going to do this, or why did Satan do this?" You're you're actually questioning the knowledge of God, and we don't believe. Well, I'm not questioning God, the knowledge of God. No, no, I know, but the, the question is the the question itself. I know you're not, but when you ask that type of question, hidden inside the question is. But surely God should have known. This well, no, there's, sort not, of... there's there's nothing there's nothing that's hidden. It, it's it's a general understanding of why each of us, that includes me and you guys, why do you think individually, why Satan would think himself above God? He doesn't. Not not in Islam. He doesn't. He, he doesn't. Not in Islam. Anyway. Mm. Okay. So in Islam, it says oh, no, that's, that why, why don't why don't we clarify the Islamic position yeah, first, and then he exactly. can exactly engage. Yeah. Right. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Brother Mansoor, Brother Hashim. Yeah, I would like to clarify uh, this. Our guests, um, uh, Sabur and, and and Zishan, to come on. Brother Sabur, please. I'm not sure if I understood uh, what was being conveyed. Um, uh, uh, yeah. So, Maybe basically, so, why did we, why, why did God create Shaitan? Yeah, yeah, so, the, so yes, we, that's, that's, the, that's a, that's a, that's a, more, that's a yeah. more understanding yeah. question. Yes. Okay, fine. So then sure, I'm, you're I mean, right. we, we can ask the question, um, why is that even a problem? So why is it a problem for God to create shaitan, the devil, if he knew what he was going to do? Like, I'm trying to understand where your objection lies. So I don't, I don't really necessarily have an objection. It's okay. just that for, for a clear understanding of Satan's purpose, I think that it has to be it has to be understood what would happen in the beginning. So look, I'll sort of put it in another, another way. Sometimes when people go through uh, some form of problem of evil. They go through pain, suffering, whatever. They say, why me? But Islam, we can ask the question, why not you? So, you right. know, like... You, you 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 have to kind of look at it from the Islamic perspective that you know if someone has a question about why would God create Satan if you knew Satan was going to re rebel that's implicitly implying that God does not want creation anything in creation uh, so anything in creation doesn't have the potential to rebel so uh, in in a way it's neither here nor there so to really understand your question what I'm trying to uh, what I'm trying what I'm trying to get to is that what is uh, what is the purpose of your question? Is your purpose of your question simply the actual purpose for which the, the devil was created, or is your question uh, a question to God's um, uh, God's decision to create something that was going to rebel? Well, the que the question would be the question I guess could be the Quran. The Quran states that that he will prove to God that man's not worthy of worshiping him. Is that correct? Not quite. Not really. Okay. Well, yeah. can you can you can you explain can you explain to me what the Quran says? Maybe I can maybe I can get a greater understanding. I mean, the Quran is very clear that uh, Allah created all men and jinn to worship Him. That was the purpose of creation. And the Quran is also clear that human beings and jinn have free will to do good or to do evil. 
And the Quran simply goes over a descriptive account in which Satan chose an evil path, and so did our father Adam. Uh, he chose an evil act, but the reaction of Adam was that of repentance, and the reaction of the devil was that of arrogance. Um, and so we, we just have that story. And that story itself is uh, something that we derive moral lessons from. So that's the purpose of you know these these things being put in the Quran. But I'm trying to understand from your point of view, I'm really trying to nail down the issue. Uh, is the issue that... You don't you 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 have a question for God that why would he create something that does evil? Or is your question what is the purpose of a devil just like what is the purpose of a mobile phone? Um that's what I'm really trying to get to.